Department, Action Ambulance, have put together this box car crash for you have problems coming up this Friday night. Motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death for high school students and teenagers like yourself. There are 5,000 deaths in the United States each year for teen drivers. Inexperience, distractions, cell phones, texting, road rage, alcohol, and lack of seatbelts are the number one cause. The two vehicles in front of you, the vehicle to your right, there's going to be four high school students in there. The driver is going to be a fatality. She ended up dying in the crash. Two of the other students in that vehicle will be taken by ambulance with injuries. The vehicle to your left is the drunk driver. There will be two students in that vehicle. The driver will be arrested by the Wilmington Police Department, brought back to the station, and booked. Right now, the students are in the car, and we are going to start the presentation. If there's any of these sad students, they're going to run up and actually presume that this is an accident. They can start right now. Police 
Begin whenever you're ready. Start with D and end with R. D, E, F. Make it to me with a spread 
party, Mom. I went to a party and remembered what you said. You told me not to drink, Mom, so I had a Sprite instead. I felt proud of myself the way you said I would, that I didn't drink and drive, though some friends said I could. I made a healthy choice, and your advice to me was right. As the party finally ended and the kids drove out of sight, I got into my car, sure to get home in one piece. I never knew what was coming, Mom, something I expected to see. Now I'm lying on the pavement, and I hear the policeman say, the kid that caused this wreck was drunk. Mom, his voice came far away. My own blood's all around me as I try hard not to cry. I can hear the paramedic say, this girl is going to die. I'm sure the guy had no idea why he was flying high. Because he chose to drink and drive, now I would have to die. So why do people do it, Mom, knowing that it ruins life? And now the pain is cutting me like a hundred stabbing knives. Tell sister not to be afraid, Mom, and Daddy to be brave. And when I go to heaven, put Daddy's girl on my grave. Someone should have taught him that it's wrong to drink and drive. Maybe if his parents had, I'd still be alive. My breath is getting shorter, Mom. I'm getting really scared. These are my final moments, and I am so unprepared. I wish that you could hold me, Mom, as I lay here and die. I wish that I could say I love you, Mom. So I love you, and goodbye. The funeral home has just showed up with the hearse, and they're going to take the deceased body to the funeral home. That will be for a wake and a funeral for a young uh, high school student that was uh, killed uh, due to a drunk driver. Yet 
related to whose lives will be changed forever. July 27th, 2003. My wife and I were lucky enough to be in San Francisco watching the Giants play the Dodgers, which is like the West Coast version of the Yankees and the Red Sox. She got a phone call that her only sister, her only sibling, her best friend, a person she talked to more than once a day was killed by a drunk driver. That was over 10 years ago. The effects are still felt today. It's affected my family, her family, all their friends, all their relatives. It's affected my children because now they're at an age where they can see pictures and they can ask their mother who that is in the picture, what happened to her, and she has to explain to them that they were She's no longer here. That was, she had a sister, but she doesn't have one anymore. So I know you all know how tragic this is. And I know you've all been taught and trained for years to make good decisions. Help each other make those good decisions. Think about the impact, not what is happening right here and now, but what will happen forever should something like this happen to people you've never even met. That's all we have to say. Again, thank you to everybody. A lot of people came together to make this happen. Friday night's a big night. You all know how to do the right thing. You've been spending years doing the right thing. Continue to do that. Make us proud. Everybody's dismissed. Thank you. General Law 263, Section 5A, a person held in custody at a police station or other place of detention charged with operating a motor vehicle under the influence of intoxicating liquor shall have the right at your request and at your expense to be examined immediately by a physician selected by you. A police official in charge of such station or place of detention or his designee shall inform you of such a right immediately upon being booked and shall afford you a reasonable opportunity to exercise it. Such person shall immediately upon being booked be given a copy of this section unless uh, such a copy is posted in the police station or other place of detention in a conspicuous place for which the person has access. I will let you read that along with me. It is also posted here, okay? The second one is your right to use a telephone under 276-33A, the police official in charge of such station or other place of detention uh, where any person is being held in custody shall permit the use of a telephone the expense of the arrested person, allowing the arrested person to communicate with a family or friends, arrange for release of bail, or engage the services of an attorney. The such person shall be informed forthwith upon arrival in, at such police station or other place of detention and have the right to use a telephone within one hour. The next section pertains to uh, you are submit, you are being submitted to a chemical test. Okay? Number one, I am requesting that you submit to a chemical test to determine your blood alcohol concentration. You are under the age of 21, correct? Yes. All right. Drive is under age 21. If you refuse this test, your license or right to operate in Massachusetts shall be suspended for at least a period of three years. Life, uh, at least three years, or up to life for such a refusal. The suspension, if you take the test and fail it, is 30 days. Drivers under age 21 will also see, receive an additional suspension pursuant to Chapter 90, 24P, of 180 days to a year. Do you understand that? Yes. If, if you decide to take the test and complete it, you will have a right to uh, comparison blood tests within a reasonable period of time 
at your own expense. Results of this comparison test can be used to restore your license or right to operate at a court hearing within 10 days. You understand those rights as I explain them to you? Yes. I'm taking the handcuffs off. When I take this handcuff off, I want you to put your left hand on your head. Do you understand that? Yes. Leave it on your head until I tell you to move it. Put it up on your head now. Take this handcuff off. Same thing. Right on top of your head. Keep it there until I tell you, okay? Top of your head. Ready to have a seat. We'll be back by the check on you every half an hour.